So what we have here is an external interface for input and output for the Commodore 64 using the user port as main control. So this card right here is the main interface card. The, this line is a line of optocouplers so we can completely keep separated the hardware part of the Commodore 64 and the input output part of the cards. So we also need two different power supplies one for the Commodore 64 and one for the cards. Now this card, second card here is attached to this connector and this one is used for hardware output so for information sent from the Commodore 64 to the outside world. In this case this light represents a 420 milliampere output. Then we have another channel used as digital output. 8-bit port, so 8 LEDs. I don't have the input card ready yet, but it will be attached here. In fact, I have it right here. This is the the card which I'm building. So let's load the program. We can load the program using the network and get the directory. Load this program called Fire. And now you can see what happens. The program is driving those LEDs one by one in this port and also it is driving the 420 milliampers output. Uh, you can barely see it because the light does never go off because it's a 420 milliampere so it does not change that much but we can test it with a multimeter and check what is the output voltage uh, actually we could test the current but in this case I should pull out the resistor and you can see that it is changing And this value is sent from the Commodore 64 to the port, driving the current. So this is just a simple program. But in the end, I would like to drive the air intake of a stove similar to this one, so that I can close the air inlet of the stove according to the temperature inside the combustion chamber. So I don't no need to put more air than necessary when burning. And the nice thing about this is that I can unplug I can unplug the power supply for the external interface light goes off but the Commodore 64 is still alive and if I plug it back in you can see the lights going back on and the, f the program is flawless so it does not feel at all the power shortage because it's, th it's two different power systems thanks to those optocouplers then we have also the input card which we could test uh, somehow let's 
a little bit tricky because I need two hands. See, maybe we can show. Forget it. We'll show the input card next time. That's all for now.